Hello everyone, I'm Yoss Kikyo. Welcome to Patrol in the General Oskin Republic. And our lovely BTR AD. It's another beautiful day in the General Oskin Republic. I think we're the last active military person that left. I think if most of them pulled out. Game infected. Who knows? We drive around. There ain't much people activity left. We drive around like we own the place. Because we really do. Ah, <sighs> the Trinor is gonna be public seen some better days. But this, this disease, it's really changed people. And not for the better. I wish I had ammo for my main turret on this beautiful machine. Yeah, she's a beast to drive, and she's very annoying, but... Main, a <laughs> main ammo? Turn those infected up in the first days of the outbreak. Yeah, not anymore. It doesn't do much. I don't even have smoke rounds for the smoke cannon on top of the turret as well. I can drive on whatever side of the road I want because. No one else is driving on these big roads. Real shame. But it is what it is. Up here you got one of the government checkpoints. <laughs> Didn't last that long. If at all. They set these up all over <laughs> the Chernoskin region. Help stop the infection, they said. <laughs> Only thing it did when the first day is, is cause mass panic. Hey, <laughs> more confusion. On top of that, when you fucking deal with a shit ton of them infected. Yeah. Positions held. Bears, you know, Tizzy, Northwest Airfield. <laughs> but a lot of positions fell as well. Of course, it didn't help that NATO came in and started causing trouble as well. Real shame. <laughs> when NATO and the Americans feed it as well. <laughs> Drastic results. They first showed up in Bears, you know, where the infection started. <laughs> of course, the local police force and militia was on their side. See the police have the air area barricaded. See here. Some of the police had a stand. The vehicles crashed all over the road and everything. 
the Americans took the port. <laughs> Listening to their screams on the radio was a little fun. Yeah, police have the roads blocked. Evacuation buses. A nightmare. And that was a sign right over there where that plume of smoke's coming from. Well, what we're driving up to right now. The Bears Hill University. Evacuation center. We evacuated people by air and by bus. Took them more inland. As you can see, evacuation buses, my units, troop transports, my Bentham Path. BMP helps protect the building once the camp fell. We were stationed right in there. Evacuation helicopter that failed to evacuate. Well, it more or less crashed, came in and just crashed. That was like, what? Of course, the Americans. Yeah, we're over here. Two. The Chinese government. We look over there. That's where they blockade things. I'm not going to yield to something that I can easily run the fuck over. Mass panic, confusion, evacuations, people from Gorka and surrounding areas trying to come in. Listen to the physician up here in the hospital. And it, the hospital in both parts of Bears, you know, fell pretty damn quick. must have been one of the many roads that they uh, attempted to block off. If I had a gearbox in this thing, a little tricky sometimes. So are collision boxes that I can easily run over. But seriously, that fence should be easily gone. Oh yeah, they fell. Everywhere fell. 
the wall they have around this region. <laughs> Nightmare. In the end, everything fell pretty quick, too. Ah, uh, one of my T-72s, well, was, dude, someone thought it was funny to shoot a fucking, uh, long rocket at it. <laughs> of course, we were fighting the generation government and basically everyone of how things were going. <laughs> On top of a uh, very interesting disease. It's like a uh, generous NATO convoy got blew up there. <sighs> Unfortunately, <laughs> any team they send in here either becomes infected. Or someone in their their squad gets infected because their damn helicopter comes crashing down. Which is uh, a real shame. Now, the forces at this bridge up here, they had the idea. They had the idea to block everything off. Well, it's an unknown disease. It's infected 100% of, 100 to 90 to 100 percent of the population. <laughs> In this region, I hear, I hear this disease is spread out somewhere else, to Latvia or Lithuania, uh, the right countries, Livonia. Yeah, that's right, Livonia. <laughs> the disease spread to. Oh, bridge. <laughs> yeah, I commanded many units in the Generalskin region. With my headquarters being Berezino University apartment structure. One unit I commanded. <laughs> Even a few NATO forces joined this little area. Was the checkpoint, the gas station. We were trying to stop people from getting out of the disease. Didn't know it was airborne at the time. Pretty messed up. What's well, the niche? The town we're entering now. 
It had some troubles too. <sighs> Dockyard was shut off. Evacuation buses failed. <laughs> the disease hit here pretty bad too. Um, people driving like maniacs. Of course, that. The bandit camp. Bunch of Sunichi residents decided it would be pretty fucking funny to start, well, shooting everyone that came into town. Yeah. Bandit camp. Fucking. Sunichi police checkpoint. <laughs> Escorting and getting people out and one going back in. Position up there by the Americans when they evacuated. We went and took it up after we lost the checkpoint. The little relay station. See, evacuation bus is failing. Blocking the roads. Yeah, and the roads would be blocked in a situation like this. Everyone in a panic. Never thought I'd uh, see the actual situation. Never thought a mercenary like me would have got deployed to this shithole of a country. I guess it'd be being sent somewhere else. That place. That shit's still going on. Well, someone thought it would be a wonderful idea to set up a checkpoint here. Quite agree, but when you transported buses of people who are infected, yeah, well, <laughs> the buses and people were searched, they were infected. That place screamed one of the line transmissions a vehicle got through, but not that far. I wonder if that's that right there. I'm trying to some government police force set that up. Some evacuation buses. Someone set up camp over there. When they're they're bandits. Now this place always gives me the creeps. Really does, and it might be the signs that are on it. I think it might be. We will eat you here. Hmm. I wonder what they're gonna eat. <laughs> they ain't gonna be eating me. <laughs> Free meat. Doesn't look like that free. Now, the reports about this town is, uh, pretty damn disturbing. But I think there's still a few of them around. I swear, every time I drive by. There's a few of them around. And, uh, what they eat here? It's us humans. The non infected ones. Would not recommend staying here at all if you had to. Free food inside, more like your food that they're gonna eat. Now, people tried to evacuate. They didn't get that far. <laughs> At this point, when people started to find out, hey, you might be infected with this disease. Ah, well. 
I didn't get that far. Oh, a checkpoint. I don't know who ran it. I think it was the Chernorusian government. <sighs> Real shame. Just a real shame. At least you have some open road. When you enter the town of Electro. Come on, baby, you can go 70. Go up this road though. We set up a new position outside of Electro. Well, me, I should say, because I'm the only one left in my unit. Actually, this entire fucking shit show battalion that came in here. No one's on the frequencies, the frequencies are jammed. Or no one's. Oh, they're out there listening. There's an entire world that's going in perfectly fine without this shit show. Most of the world probably don't even know what happened here. <laughs> Oops, I got down a tree. <laughs> I don't know this baby can handle trees. She can handle hills too. I like those American Jeeps. This baby can handle more or less anything. I need to find ammo for her. I do have some, I lied, I do have some ammo for her. But uh, I don't want to say it when I'm in that crazy town that we drove through before. Or, People there think your food. Town's name is called Kami Shovo. Then you're yeah, not food. You just say it that way. You get out of there. Survive. Maybe one day I'll pick someone up on the radio. <sighs> Unfortunately, the helicopters and the airplanes that drop supply. People don't make it, so this thing is airborne. The motherland found a way to kill some of these infected, but yeah, you can imagine how that goes. Unless you're wearing a hazard suit. Even if you wear a hazard suit, sometimes you. You're fucked. Had to put her in low gear. Uh, yeah. Oh, one of the relay channels. Towers, channels, whatever you want to call them. No one's broadcasting anything anymore. You know something funny? 13th century. He's, uh. lovely. I mean, lovely castles around you were built, I guess. One of them makes for a lovely base. 
Remote, no one's gonna mess with it. Well, yeah, it's supposed to do that. Yeah, gotta uncover this baby. Where'd you go? Oh, I had a transport truck there. Okay. I've been your house, Kiki. I see you all sometimes here. Bye. 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 B